Epic Price Updating. When using Epic, there are a few configuration options that must be set before updating Epic prices in IntelliBid. In IntelliBid, click Maintenance in the left sidebar, and then click the Items option. When the message appears, click OK. At the bottom of the window, under Pricing Setup, click the arrow, and then click Epic Setup. When the message appears, click Yes to install the setup files. Open the Epic Pricing software. At the top of the window in the File menu, click Options, and then click Set Epic Link. It will show you the correct directory location for the TSP file. The target price destination is shown as None, which is correct. When it is shown as None, it will also update the Tray Column 3 price. Now click OK. From the File menu, click Options again. Click Update Manager. And then click Properties. The application name and path are shown. A few other things are shown towards the bottom that we want to address. We want to make sure Update Old UPC Numbers is checked, because if any UPC codes change in the pricing update, we want to ensure that the UPC codes are also updated accordingly. The application is a 32-bit program. We want to make sure that Use Expanded Manufacturer Names is checked, because it will allow us to see the full name of a manufacturer instead of a shortened name. We will not check Update Changes Only because it will only update changes from this latest update only. We will leave Update All checked because it will automatically find any UPC codes and update those if necessary. We will also leave the Export Target option checked because it will automatically update the target vendor in IntelliBit as well. Once all of these are set correctly, we will click OK. Then we click Update. We will see a reminder that says that we need to close the IntelliBid software before we begin the pricing update process. IntelliBid is closed, so I will click Yes. The update process now begins. It may take around 30 seconds for the update to finish. Once finished, the update will generate a log report that we can look at later. The updates have completed, so I can now click Close, and then I can click Close again in the Update Manager window. I will now log back into IntelliBit Estimating. After logging in, We now see an important message regarding our price update. It asks if we want to use the DAT file generated in our pricing update to update the prices in IntelliBid. We click Yes. This will start the price update process in IntelliBid, which also takes around 30 seconds, but the time that it takes depends on how many items are updated in the database. This process will also generate a log file that we can look at. Here is one of the log reports. You'll want to read the report to identify new updates, items, or UPC codes. Here it says that some items will be deleted in a future update. I will now close the log. It now says that the price update has completed. I click OK. It then asks if we want to delete the trade.dat file. We want to delete it because when we do our next update, Epic will want to create a new trade.dat file to use in the updating process. So I click yes. Thanks for watching this Conest tip video. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get more tips and to keep up to date with Conest software systems.